नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल साई इकोनॉमिक्स पॉइंट इन टूडेज लेक्चर विल डिस्कस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कॉप डेस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर मोर अपडेट्स राइट द नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी एंड वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ कॉप डेस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन दैट इट इज सेटिस्फाइज द यूलर्स थियरम ओके सो Euler's theorem states that the total product is adjusted, okay, if factors are paired equal to their marginal productivity, okay, okay. So let q equal to total output and l is the labor factor and k is the capital factor, okay. Assuming that there are only two factors employed for production, that is q equal to a function of a labor and capital then adding up problem or killer's <coughs> theorem implies that okay uh, your total output okay equal to mpk into k plus mpl into l okay what does it mean this is marginal product of a factor k multiplied by the amount of factor k that is mpk into k plus the marginal product of factor l okay multiplied by the amount of a factor l okay equals the total product of the firm right so uh, marginal product of various factors can be expressed okay as the partial derivatives so mpk can be written as delta q by delta k and mpl is written as delta q by delta l right hence for the euler theorem or adding up theorem the following equation must hold good that is q equal to delta q by delta k that is mpk into k plus delta q by delta l that is marginal productivity of labor into l okay where delta q by delta k represents the share of a total product going to capital right and delta q by delta l this represents the share of a total product that is going to labor okay then uh, Euler's theorem states that if production function is a homogeneous function of the first degree, right, that is q equal to functions of a, a labor and a capital, then for any increase in the variable labor and capital by amount n, okay, then q will be equal to the sum of the partial derivatives of the production function with respect to various factors multiplied by the amounts of the factors respectively that is mpk into k plus mpl into l equal to total output okay then the homogeneous function of the first degree or linear homogeneous function is written in the following form right that is uh, if we increase labor and capital by n times then output will increase by n times right so now according to Euler's theorem for the linear homogeneous function okay q equal to mpk into k plus mpl into l okay so what we will get uh, previously we have calculated the value of mpk okay so we will put the value of mpk here and uh, multiply um, by k okay and uh, by putting the value of mpl and we will multiply this l times what we will get say Mm, we'll get uh, 1 minus alpha into a okay Al l to the power alpha into k to the power minus alpha by taking um, k into the numerator this power becomes negative okay into k plus uh, alpha into a k to the power 1 minus alpha into l to the power c here l is uh, 1 minus alpha by taking into the numerator it becomes minus 1 minus alpha into l to the power 1 right uh, then by solving this uh, this what we will get okay see by rearranging this uh, this uh, power that is minus 1 and uh, plus 1 this becomes cancelled and we will get 1 minus alpha into a l to the power alpha into k to the power 1 minus alpha plus alpha into a l to the power what minus 1 1 cancel so l to the power alpha into k to the power 
what one minus alpha okay so, so next uh, by taking a into l to the power alpha k to the power one minus alpha is common uh, okay we'll get one minus alpha plus alpha into a l to the power alpha into k to the power one minus alpha right so here alpha and minus alpha will be cancelled okay so finally we'll get uh, a into l to the power alpha into k to the power one minus alpha which is nothing but the total output right so um, you can conclude that uh, according to this theorem if the various factors are paired okay rewards equal to their marginal products the total product q will be just adjusted okay that is with no surplus or deficit okay so this is the one of the important pro property of a Cobb Douglas production function okay.